G'day, and this is another video for how to do the paint.com. This is Cam speaking. Uh, we're continuing the series in digital painting and Photoshop. Now in episode 6, and looking at the brush tool, you must excuse me, I'm pretty tired right now. Um, anyway, I hope, hope you understand what I'm saying, and then I'm clear in what I say. So we're looking at the brush settings, looking at saving brushes and tools, managing our sets, because we like to be organized and neat. We're looking at brush modes and we're also looking at hotkeys and actions. So for this video, we'll be just looking at how to modify the hard round brush but obviously you can apply this to your custom brushes if you want to find out how to make custom brushes you can watch the tutorial coming out tomorrow or you can watch one of my other videos where I already told you how to do it um, and yeah various other ways to find out if you can't wait till tomorrow so to open the brush settings menu you can either press F5 or go up here, window brush and you can see we got this nice menu here and this is where we do all our customization for our brushes so we've just got the basic hard round brush selected and we'll just go through the settings and how we can customize these and explain what they do so we can change the size we can flip flip it x or y you can't really notice it since it's a symmetrical pattern and we can change the roundness so you can see that's flipping x or y and change the angle change the hardness of the edges, soft or round very handy and we can change the spacing you'll notice if, if you turn the spacing down to 1% it starts to really lag so if you're having a lot of problems with that I suggest you increase the spacing and you can see it's a lot faster now and I recommend really just using the hard round brush when you're starting out painting and you can s and you'll see as we go along in this video how much we can modify this basic hard round brush so now just looking at the shape dynamics we can change things like the size jitter and that will be a random effect or by just leaving it on pen pressure it will be affected by the pressure of the stylus we can also change the minimum size of the brush when using it by pen pressure or if you just want it random adjust this slider here you can also change the angle jitter or we can set it to be affected by our stylus action whether that be pen tilt pen pressure rotation direction and so forth I like to usually have my brushes on direction because then it can get it to follow around form and so forth and describe form that way and it feels feels like a real brush in some way as if the bristles are going along with where I'm moving my brush and we can also flip X or Y jitter and we can have scattering 
You might have bubbles or something like that. A lot of rocks on the ground. You can see we're already getting some nice stuff happening. A tree, da da da. Turn off that. Pain in the trunk. Okay, moving on. And we have texture, we can apply a texture to our, our thing. You may not see it too well because I've got flat black. I'll use something multiply. Yeah, you can see the texture a bit better now. If you if you want to apply different textures, Photoshop has its own. You can also load the ones along here and if you want to make your own texture it must be a PSD or your own pattern so if you have a nice pa paper pattern and it's a JPEG save it as a PSD in Photoshop and you can use that for a pattern but uh, I think Photoshop really has nice nice inbuilt stuff anyway it's got a good variety. So not much need to make your own. We can change all these different settings. Texture each tip is gonna text each dual brush gives some really nice variation and that what that is doing as the name implies is combining two brush tips into one we can affect the spacing and so forth and color dynamics this one was a bit less obvious to me in the beginning but I find it really useful now, uh, especially when when I'm painting environments and things like that where you look at an environment or a photo of an environment and you'll see all these sort of subtle differences in colour within an environment. So you can really do that in an automated way by affecting these different hue jitters and then obviously you just adjust these sliders so if you want it subtle or extreme and it really gives a nice painterly effect probably not so much with this round brush but um, you'll notice in master paintings with oil paintings there's a lot of neutral tones and things happening because the way the way color mixes in real life it's um, you know colors neutralize when they mix with their complementary and different things happening there so you can get somewhat of that effect happening by applying color dynamics to you to your brush settings. And transfer. This transfer is pretty important. It's known as other dynamics in previous versions of Photoshop. Uh, these things are greyed out because these these features apply to the um, the mixer brushes which is a CS5 feature and I recommend that you have opacity and flow jitter on set to pan pressure and finding this out was a bit of an epiphany for me 
when learning how to paint in Photoshop a few years back. I discovered this uh, pen pressure and I was, this is amazing because I was seeing how useful it is for controlling your values and blending colors and um, yeah just adding highlights and different things like that I thought it was so revolutionary <laughs> when I finally found it out so I recommend that most of the brushes have this feature on transfer set it to pen pressure and you can see the difference so this is going to come out all opaque switch this on and now I can get nice control affected by the pen pressure it will give me a nice range of values just in in how I'm uh, using my stylus these, these other features noise, we can add noise it's quite a subtle effect really you can apply wet edges it's nice if you want to mimic watercolour and it'll make your edges a bit more interesting airbrush will affect the flow a bit and protect texture uh, not too sure I guess it protects your texture if you have that if you have that on but um, yeah go ahead and play around with them yourself hope that at least introduced you to the tools um, and now moving on to the next bit